Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to diagonally split a cell. So sometimes you have tables and you want to have a column heading in the first cell, like A1, as I see here, and it shows some descriptive text, uh, maybe for your rows or your columns or your, or your columns or your rows. And there's actually two ways that we can go about doing this, and I'll show you one where uh, we would just draw a borderline and the other one where we would include a drawing object. So let's go into the first one, this one. To create this effect, uh, basically you would need to um, put in, let's just put in uh, rows here, and then we want to have or create a diagonal column. So what we do there is we can go and right click this and go under format cells right click format cells and we want to get into the border tab and the border tab uh, will have the color automatic usually automatic will give us a, a black uh, line and so this line that is selected is fine too and we just need to collect this di cl click this diagonal line and click OK and see now we have a diagonal line but as you see it's going it's kind of going across the rows and we want, what we want to do is kind of adjust it a little bit just adjust a little bit and make that a little long, a little higher there. And what we also want to do, and is, oops, go into the rows and see how this is selected at for bottom of line. We want to make that top of line. So that brings that up there. Now we want to get the other text over here on the lower right hand corner. What we need to do is just kind of go ahead and press the Alt key and enter and we'll type in columns and what we, want, what we want to do is kind of go back to the beginning of the columns word and just this is where it's just kind of fine-tuning it and I was just pressing the space bar a little bit and see where we can get to the end without crossing it going over too much see now it went over too much backspace a little bit more go ahead and press enter and there we have it our rows and columns now that's separated by a diagonal line the other way we can do it, as I've shown here, is if you wanted to add some flair and color to it, is inserting an object. And basically, what this entails is we'd actually only have uh, one text in the cell. So, same here, we'll just type rows. And let's go ahead and just give it some, some height right now. Let's see, let's just give it, we'll make it about uh, 60 pixels. And also here, We'll go ahead and make sure that this is top aligned. So we go ahead and click top aligned there. Now what we need to do is insert a right triangle object. So we go into the insert tab here in the ribbon and go under illustration illustration shapes and select our our right triangle shape. Now there's some descriptive text that should come up. Yep, right triangle. And what we want to do is we want to draw that right triangle. So what it's going to do is going to draw it not the way we want it but what we're going to do is flip it later on so to draw it and have it lock into the cell constraints the the, the height and length of the cell we need to press the alt key while we draw this so press the alt key and kind of bring the cross here's there a little bit near it at the corner and without it becoming bold and then click and hold and just draw that shape and see how when you press the Alt key, it basically locks it into the constraints of the cell. Release. And what we want to do is we want to flip this now. We don't want this at a, <laughs> as a right triangle. We want it kind of as a left triangle. So what we're going to do here, when this is selected, you see now it's got a little um, green circle. It lets you uh, orient it, um, turn it around and stuff. Well, let me go and press Control uh, z to to undo that change there, that rotation. Once it's selected, you see that now the object is selected. The format tab comes up with the, the while well, the drawing tools and the format sub tab comes up in the ribbon. And what we want to do is we want to rotate it. So we want to rotate it and you flip it horizontal. We flip it horizontal. Now it's going to flip in the right uh, direction that we want it to be in. And basically here, we can actually just type the word columns and you can see here that it doesn't really fit all the way you can just press enter whoops excuse me not enter because that's going to give it a little uh, page um, 
a little paragraph break. So we can just click out of it, and you can see here that it's kind of taking the words off me. I mean, there's some some ways you can fix this. You can reduce the font sizes, but I kind of just like to bring it out a little bit, a little bit more maybe. Uh, maybe that was a little bit too much. So there we have the columns. And the nice thing about this with the shape now is like you can give it different colors. Whereas there, whereas when you had this, if you wanted to give the cell a column, uh, cell a color, it would basically color the whole cell. Here you're just coloring the object half of the cell because basically you've got a triangle there. So we can go into the format tab and the drawing tools and uh, go ahead and give it some shape styles. You know, we can give it. I kind of like this um, this effect here, this little bevel effect. You know, red, green. And let's go back to the other color. So basically, we have that there. So th there's a lot of tweaking you can do. You can select the cell and make them bold. Oops. You can make it bold. Select that object and uh, make the text bold. And there you have it. So this is kind of like a nicer little effect here. You got some color if you wanted to add some color. This one, if you just wanted to just have a diagonal line going across to separate the um, to split the cell, you can do it that way too. So these are the two ways we can diagonally split a cell. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.